Hey, what's up there guys? This is Chris from VFX On and in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make an ice cube or any other object float in liquid using Cinema 4D and RealFlow. So as you can see here my ice cubes fall into the liquid they then race to the top of the liquid and then they float above it. So and that's what we are gonna be making in this tutorial. So let's go into Cinema 4D, but make sure that your Cinema 4D have a real flow plugin because we will need that. Okay, so we are in uh, Cinema 4D, and let's start by making an ice cubes. I'm gonna be only making one ice cube. If you want more, you just click more cubes right here. And so what we do now is let's set the frames to 200 and here on ice cube I'm gonna set the segments to let's say 13, 13, 13 and basically this is uh, segments what this is gonna do is how wavy the ice cube is gonna look so if you want it to be more wavy you just add more segments but if you add too much it will look just ugly so you have to find a good number that is gonna work so I'm gonna work with 13 and just to show you an example I'm gonna make a new cube and I'm gonna set the segments to 20 so let's move this cube aside like so so here we have 13 and 20 okay next what we do is we so I'm gonna work for first with the uh, cube that have segments of 20 so click C on your keyboard select the polygon tool and click uh, control plus A to select it all next what we do is we click shift plus F12 and here in name filter we set um, type set point double click and now here on the options we will change this to crumple axial and I'm gonna set it to 10 centimeters um, by the way also this will be changes how wavy the um, ice cube will look so click apply and you see it's well this is not the end result so now we have to work with the cube that have uh, 13 segments so C on a keyboard make it editable polygon control A now the set point tool and again click apply next what we do is let's um, alt click on the hypernerbs do the same here alt click and you can see the difference right here so here is our cube with uh, 25 segments and here are with 13 segments so you can see the difference pretty well um, this looks kind of really bad it does not look like ice cube anymore but the one with 13 segments it looks pretty good and looks kind of like ice cube so yeah you just have to play around with the settings so I'm gonna delete this one with 20, 20 segments okay um, next what we need is either way you add your own uh, glass or you can uh, later on download my glass if you ask me nicely on Twitter Facebook or on YouTube or Google Plus so I will give you that um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my glass okay so here I have my glass and we should uh, decrease the size of the ice cube a little bit because it kinda looks big compared to the glass right here so this looks kinda good okay that does not look good it's still big so let's decrease the size a little bit more let's see well just a tiny bit more okay like this this looks good so now that we have our ice cube or glass we can move forward to real flow so go to plugins real flow real flow as the exporter and uh, add all 
and now let's see where we wanna save this so I already have my uh, folder here and I'm gonna type it cinema 4d SD and click save and click export okay so let's also save this um, cinema 4d save and we can open the real flow um, let's create a new project let's type this tutorial where we want to save it um, I want it to save here okay create a new project good now go to import object and here I have my SD file click open and here we go so this is good so next what we do we need to create oh no actually what I need to do is I have to move let's see if it is okay so yeah that's okay I have to move uh, my ice cube a little bit up so go to node um, dynamics and set that to active rigid body and click SD curve okay and now let's move it above so from the point we want it to fall in the glass so let's say this okay now what we need to do is I'm gonna right click and set it to simulation inactive so here let's set the dynamics to passive rigid body and let's see initial set no nope. uh, rigid body collision side inside let's close this down close this down okay and uh, next what we do is we need to add our particle emitter so let's do that also add a k volume demon and a gravity demon like this okay um, so I'm gonna move all of these demons um, right here in our glass above like here I'm just gonna increase their size like this move them up okay so this looks good okay and now we're our circle right here move it above in the glass okay and now what we do is I'm gonna go to speed and set that to 4 so all the particles will uh, the particles will be emitted faster uh, what else do we have here um, the resolution is set to 1 so basically there will be not that much particles um, but the more you set the more particles will be emitted and you can do more stuff and uh, well you can if when you play around with other settings it will in the end look better than compared to resolution 1 for example compared 100 to 1 uh, resolution 100 always is better so but for the pur tutorial purposes I'm gonna only stick with one also remember that when you increase the resolution the rendering or the simulation will take a lot longer for example when I render uh, when I simulate with 100 resolution it takes a lot lot longer so just be aware of that um, but for yeah like I said but for the tutorial I'm gonna just use it to one okay so I'm gonna be back when the glass is about just like this for filled with liquid so yeah bye for now okay so the glass is filled pretty much as far as I need and now what I need to do is I go to here by the emitter I go to speed and I'm gonna set that to zero and I'm gonna press simulate again so the water that the, um, the particles that are falling right now would uh, fall into the other particles together and they would just um, stand still and wouldn't be shaky like this so I will be back just in a minute 
Okay, so I stopped the simulation here, and the particles seem to be standing still. So what I do now is I go to initial state here, and use initial state, yes, and make initial state. Then here, by the reset, go reset to initial state and press reset. Uh, all data will be reset, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. So next what we do is I go back to my hypernerbs object right here which is the ice cube and I right click it and I go to simulation and I press active. Um, what will happen now is the object or the ice cube will just sink when it drops right now for the reason that it is too heavy. As you can see, the mass right now is 222, and uh, that's too much. So I'm going to set that to about 19, and I'm going to go and press simulate. So I will be back again in a bit. Okay, so the simulation is done, but the cube is still quite a bit outside of the liquid or the particles right now and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the mass again and as you can see uh, most you know you cannot get it right at the first time so you just have to play around with it so um, let's see I'm gonna increase it to 45 and I'm gonna reset and I'm gonna just lower the cube so it would drop faster like here and I'm gonna simulate this once again so it'll be back when this is done okay so the simulation is well it's not even halfway but I stop here because I'm not gonna simulate till end um, if you want you can but I'm not gonna do that so I would have to say that the ice cube falls well kind of good maybe just a little bit too much outside but it's it's better than it was so now what we do is we go here and we click on particle mesh then we go back in our timeline right here and we click here to make the mesh build mesh so I'm gonna Oh, if you want to stop, like I have to stop at frame 63, you just press the S button and it will stop the mesh building. Okay, so the mesh building is done. Now let's see how it looks. Let's turn on the glass. Okay, well, it looks pretty good. Um, the ice cube could be a little bit more inside the liquid right now but it is fine. So next what we do is we have to export all of this back into Cinema 4D and to do that we go to export and we go to export central here and we select um, export all and click done. So now we can, wait, or was it export all? Yeah, it's done. So now I will save this and I will move back to Cinema 4D. Okay, so I am in Cinema 4D and let's go plugins, uh, real flow, real flow SD importer. Now let's go to objects and let's see, I think it was, yeah, it was tutorials, objects, animation SD open import so here I have my glass and here is ice cube let's go again plugins real flow real flow mesh importer and here at the file path we go to browse and we're gonna find uh, the mesh so here is mesh click on the first one and click open so now we have our mesh everything seems fine uh, so what we can do here is we can apply some texture to the mesh um, apply some texture to the um, objects right here 
like to the glass to the ice cube so let's set the let's set the liquid to be transparent because that's how usually liquids are let's not set it 100 percent let's do about like that um color something like this now for here let's see um transparency like this reflect like so and for the ice cube well obviously these are not you know the settings I use for the actual um, for the preview but I just I'm kind of trying to get the best look here so let's see how does this look let's add a light let's add another light let's add one more one more like so and let's render this out So, and if we go further to like here, and if we render, how does it look? Well, it looks kind of delicious actually, except for the cube. Cube does not look like an ice, but I like how the liquid looks, the pink color of the liquid. Kind of delicious, I really want to drink that right now. So, um, so yeah, this was a quick tutorial on how to make an object float in a real flow. Um, yeah, here is kind of messed up everything, as you can see, because my mesh, um, there are no um, particles anymore after the frame 63, I think, yeah, and I, I forgot to stop the build mesh, but yeah, anyway, I messed up there, so um, let's not focus in there. So yeah, this was a quick tutorial how to get this cool looking and easy effect. Um, I, I know there are a lot of discussions on how to make an object float so if you are interested in that then here you go. Um, anyway guys hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, if you have any questions make sure to leave them down below or uh, um, send me a private message also make sure to subscribe, um, like this uh, video, and uh, maybe share and favorite. So um, if you want the glass in this tutorial used or the ice cube, um, you can send me a message and I will give you the link where to download them. So yeah guys, I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.